Hi, I'm here to talk about Machen chapter 3, which is the base verb form, the present active indicative. Now, Greek, first of all, is an inflected language, which means that the end of the verb changes to indicate different subjects as the subjects of the verb change. Let me give you an example. In English, which is a non-inflected language, if I just had a simple sentence like, I took the book, you took the book, he took the book, we took the book, you took the book, they took the book, the verb took, 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 took would stay the same because the subject is a different word separately that's placed before the verb. Now, this isn't the way it is in Greek. In, if you have a basic Greek verb like grapho, which means I write, you change the ending depending on who's doing the acting. For instance, in a basic verb paradigm for the present active indicative, grapho means I write, graphes means you singular write, graphe means he writes, graphamen, we write, graphete, you plural write, and graphusi, they write. You'll recognize that the verb grapho, which is given in the dictionary, you just snip off the O and you have this graph and you start adding the different endings depending on who's doing the action. O, I'm doing it. Ace, you singular are doing it. A, he's doing it. He, she, or it. Amen, we are doing it. Ete, you plural are doing it. Usi, they are doing it. So the basic paradigm is like this. Grapho, grapheis, grapheis. Grafamen, grafete, grafusi. Grafo, I write. Grafes, you singular write. Grafe, he, she, or it writes. Grafamen, we write. Grafete, you plural write. Grafusi, they write. This is how you do the present active indicative as opposed to any past tenses or passive voices or any kind of subjunctive moods. When we have a word like grafo, we will classify this verb called parsing according to five characteristics. Grapho, which means I write, we will classify with these five descriptors. It is a present, active, indicative, first, singular. Every time you have a verb of this form, you give it five descriptors. The tense, present, the voice, active, the mood, indicative, the person, one, two, or three, and then singular or plural. Grapho, Present active indicative first singular. Grapheis, present active indicative second singular. Grapha, present indi active indicative third singular, and so forth. That is the simple paradigm or the simple pattern for present active indicative verbs in the first, second, and third singular and plural.